got thyme, oregano. I just used some of these. Uh, yesterday we did some copycat Costco chicken bakes for dinner. And I put the fresh herbs on top of the bread. It's delicious. This beautiful little fig was literally a tiny twig. And is growing like crazy this year. I've got to repot it. I got my sage. Something's thinking into a lot of it. It's been very, very hot. Like 100 degrees out. We've got chamomile and rosemary. Strawberries. Uh, it's definitely got a lot of shooters on it, which is great. I'm gonna transplant these into one of my garden beds, raised beds in the back. Hopefully they'll all grow back next year doing pretty well. This is my hibiscus. It's doing beautifully. And I have eucalyptus growing down here. It's also doing beautifully. Eucalyptus smells so wonderful. I took some petals a couple weeks ago and threw them in a hot bath with my Epsom salts. Mm. So it's end of August and we just picked a whole bunch of tomatoes, peppers, I'll show you those in a while. Uh, in this raised bed, we've got chives, I really need to chop those down. We've got cherry tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes, there are peppers, green bell peppers, um, I just picked off of here all the banana peppers. We have more green pepper, bell peppers. These are the long, slim uh, gym peppers. They're long and red, they're delicious. Chives in this corner. You can see I have a lot of tomatoes left down there. It's been a very hot and dry summer. Been watering like twice a week. So last year, this was a cut flower garden, and we were a lot busier this summer, so I didn't do the cut flowers for bouquets. Um, I've still made a few bouquets from like flowers here and in our front flower bed, but uh, I didn't do the zinnias or the dahlias this year. And I did this really pretty wildflower mix that's supposed to be good for pollinators. Um, it took a little while to get growing, but... It did take off. It's very pretty. There's definitely some color yellows, pinks, purples. 
I have some sunflowers going up here. There's a little bit of pop of color hiding back in here. Well, the sunlight, morning sunlight going. Can you see that? There's purple and blue in there. It's beautiful. So this was the other cut flower bouquet bed that I did last year. I left it empty. Um, and I got weeds growing. I'm going to transplant and plant a lot of herbs back here this next year. Uh, and my rhubarb is going crazy. Still hanging in there. Um, but it's totally end of August, so past rhubarb, tasty rhubarb season. This bed had, um, zucchini and lettuce in it, but those are already done for the season. I'm going to put the strawberries here, um, because they do well with a lot of herbs and with rhubarb. So we're going to put the strawberries in here and hopefully they do well next year. Apples are about ready to be picked here this coming weekend. Super excited to do my old fashioned apple crisp. Uh, I'll link to that recipe, it's amazing. And some apple cinnamon bread. We're gonna do a bourbon apple cider pulled pork in the crock pot. Yeah, delish. Between our apple trees, we have honeysuckle, which it's been a lot more vibrant. It's kind of in a regrowth phase. It smells heavenly. And we have blueberries. I'm right down here, this is a first year blueberry bush. So the blueberries are teeny tiny, but it's started. I have another little one going right there and I shared this rose bush with you last year she's pretty hanging in there and then this year we planted this rose bush it gets big beautiful white blossoms on it but our local bunny rabbit likes to uh, nip them before they actually open up so I'm gonna have to do a little rabbit deterrent next year Here are a bunch of the Roma and regular tomatoes that we picked from the garden last night. Hubby and kids helped because there was a ton. Hold on, that's not all. Gave these little grape cherry tomatoes, uh, grape tomatoes a good rinse. There's oodles of them. And then we have these ones. <laughs> um, I will link to my salsa, homemade salsa recipe. You can make it mild or spicy. I have both versions. Um, because it's delicious. A great way to use up tomatoes. Uh, if you're also looking for some other ideas to use up tomatoes besides BLTs and salsa uh, and spaghetti sauce, you could totally do some beefaroni, uh, like goulash. I have an awesome goulash recipe. You could totally throw in some tomatoes. Um, a tomato peach caprese burrata kind of salad, a tomato caprese salad with some fresh mozzarella or burrata cheese. Honey balsamic vinaigrette drizzled on top, fresh basil. Mmm, so good. 